I, Kate, here with you talking about some Google options. So I do have a lot of folks that reach out and they're like, hey, I have got my stuff in Google. How can I maximize that now that I've got this amazing new new line? Well, let me help you out with that. So first thing, first things first, I do want to make sure um, that I touch on a troubleshooting thing that may come up for you as you start integrating and giving yourself options. Because of course, with new line, you've got options. Uh, we're going to pop into our app section now. So if I pop in here, oh, you may have noticed I have a Google Drive. It's very exciting. Um, that makes me very happy. If you're like, oh my goodness, where did she get it? Let me tell you. So I am going to scroll down until I find New Lime App Store. So with that, it says New Lime. It's kind of a blue, purple, pink option here. And when I click on that, this is where dreams come true. Uh, this is the app store, so you can find all sorts of amazing things. One thing that I do like to point out for folks, it, yes, we have all of these fabulous categories and it is constantly getting updated, but do not be afraid to search and hunt for additional things. Meaning you have this lovely little search function. I'll say if any of you back in the day were like Carmen San Diego fans and you have to hunt and take the clues, go ahead. Um, search for things and find what you may want. I am going to Google, I'm, I'm gonna Google Google. Uh, I am going to search Google. So let me go ahead and just make that my keyword here and all of the options. So that's fantastic. So you can see this is actually where uh, I was able to download the Google Drive straight to my panel. And you can see you've got docs and all sorts of other options here. And we're going to come back to this because this is uh, something that I just want to make sure nobody gets caught by surprise. So I'm going to go back home and I'm going to use Google a lot. So I'm actually going to add it with my little add button down here. I'm going to add it as an app, as a hot key to my home screen. So go ahead and click on that. There we go. Right on my home. Uh, I can grab my Google Drive. I got logged in. So all of my stuff pops up which is amazing. So a couple of things. First things first, let me just go into a slides option. So it's going to pull it up, uh, which is fantastic. And it just opens and away I go. All right. No problems there. Let me go into a document. All right, so now I have a different type of option. I can see uh, the actual item but here, opening Google Docs. So instead of just the viewer, I can click this and wah, wah, wah. You may see this. Don't panic. Oh, that's well, remain calm. Uh, all you have to do is hit got it, not a problem. Let's go ahead and solve that problem. I'm actually gonna go back into the app store. So let me scroll on down in here. All I have to do is grab Google Docs and install that. So now if I wanted to open it up kind of natively in Docs, I'm going to have that option. So word to the wise, if you're gonna be opening different types of Google documents, sheets, slides, whatever it may be, do it from the drive because all of your content is there. So I highly recommend that. Uh, it makes it much easier. But just make sure you do have the corresponding items that you're going to be using. Um, have these little apps downloaded to your panel so that way it can actually pull the content and bring it up. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Sheets since we're in here. Again, you know what you're going to need. Maybe you're like, nope, I am a slides person. That is where I live my life. You do you, uh, whatever works best for you. Uh, but I did want to show you that when you go into the drive, if you get that ding dong message as you try and pull things up, uh, you're just going to need to make sure now I can hit it. And there we go. Just make sure that you have the corresponding app and now you can edit your documents and, and do your things. So hopefully that was helpful as you get going. Uh, of course, you know, you have all of your content on your connected computer. You can leave it there, but I am all about the backup options because <laughs> anything can happen in the day. Um, so you have other ways or additional ways to grab content. Maybe you're doing something on your computer and you want to pull something up uh, for students, or if you're working with another group, uh, you can do that as well. Divide and conquer. Why not? 
Hopefully that was helpful. We will talk again soon, and we're going to talk more about accessing and working with your Google content, incorporating your new line. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.